Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Right now, get excited about the rewards. Yes, about the reward of being in the family of God. It's a great reward. Blessing of God is going to flow through you today. Yeah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Give us all over the world. You are welcome. Thank you for being part of this program today. Christ and the Word are one. Part two. Christ and the Word are one. Hallelujah. Let me take you to the Art of Apostle 12. Let's look at verse 24. But the Word of God grew and multiplied. The Word of God grew and multiplied. That is, is seed. One thing I want you to know, knowing facts about Jesus Christ does not change your relationship with him. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is this. Jesus is that. Jesus is this. His Savior, Redeemer, the Healer, the Deliverer. Does not change your relationship because a man can be a Christian by profession and not such in heart. A man can be a Christian by confession and not such in heart. Take the time to splash land in the Word of God, to absorb it, to discover what the Lord has to say to you each day. You are in it. Here. You are here. I am here. But most important, God. What uncommon sort of book? A book where we read, He reads us as well. At the same time, when we are reading it, it's reading us. In that verse 24, but the word of God grew and multiplied. You want to have an appointment with a man, you have the number or get connected. But in case of our Lord, Meditation in the Word of God is a visit with Him. Tell your neighbor, meditation in the Word of God is a visit with Him. That is, the Word of God becomes a part of one by meditation. He is with me in the living word. Tell your neighbor, he is with us in the living word. Yes, it's with you there. This is why we call the title Christ and the Word are one. Act of Apostle 19 verse 20. So the word of the Lord grew mightily and prevailed. The book of Matthew, Matthew 8, verse 5, also you take a look at verse 23 there. The word in Jesus' lives 
prevailed over sickness, over disease, in the centurion servant. In verse 6, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only, but only speak a word. And my servant will be healed. You see, faith comes when the word prevails over thinking processes. Verse 23. The word prevailing in Jesus' lips over the law of nature. What happened there in that verse 23? If you take your time to read. He arose and rebuked the winds and the sea and there was a great calm. You see the word prevailing. And the men marveled saying what manner of man is this man? That even the winds and the sea obey him. It is not only committing the word to memory, which is valuable, but it is letting the word become an integral part of our being. When the Bible says, in my name you shall cast out demons, yes, you can cast out demons in his name, but nothing unless we act on God's word. In Matthew 7, say, ask and knock. Yes, you can ask, you can knock in his name, nothing unless we act on God's word. Because Christ and the word are one. This is why you say in the world today, you say, many will say, in the name of Jesus, rise and walk, be healed. Nothing happen. Nothing will happen unless we act on, on it. I want to encourage you to read your Bible regularly, attentively, and repeatedly. Then you can become familiar with the way God speaks and the way we answer God with our life. Listen, read your Bible with devotion regularly, repeatedly and uh, attentively so that you become familiar with the way and manner God speaks and the way we answer God with our life. Tell your neighbor, he is with me in the living word. Again, he is with you in the living world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Acts 19, verse 20 there. The word of God grew in the mind of the people. It gained supremacy over them. The word living in us gets into our blood. Tell your neighbor, the word living in us Get into our blood. Don't bring what you think you need to hear. This is about what Jesus has to say to you. So, the word of God, the more you read, the more you get familiar with his voice. In the beginning, there was word. The word was with God, and word was God. What a wonderful honor. God honored the human language by calling Jesus the word. Tell your neighbor, God honored. God honors the human language by calling Jesus the word. The whole universe were created, were brought to being by word. A spirit spoke, let there be light. A spirit spoke, the word became flesh. God's word, a spirit, creates material things. This proof that the spirit is greater than the material thing. Once again, Christ and the word are one. Remember, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never said goodbye. 